Moving on to the movie that everyone is talking about, a movie yeah. that stars some of the biggest sports stars in the world. Tom I Brady, wait. Russell Wilson, Ronda Rousey, and our buddy Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. Of course, we're talking about the Entourage flick, and I think we actually got a clip of Mark in the movie. Let's take a look. Hey, everyone. Good day. Good news and bad news. The bad news is the projector broke. No, no, no. Vinny, no. The good news is, look who just showed up. Pharrell, could we possibly convince you to come up here and perform? <laughs> So you saw him right there sitting next to Russell Wilson. He, of course, in the Entourage series, he owns Avion, the um, tequila, tequila company. company. Yeah, that was a whole big plot device towards the end of the actual run of the series, and I guess they're carrying it on to the movie. They're bringing it back. And to find out a little bit more about it, we actually have Mark with us right now. Yes. Mark, thanks so much for joining us on TMZ Hollywood Sports, man. Absolutely, guys. It's going to be a huge premiere. I can't wait. So what was it like sitting there and acting with some of these huge sports stars? We saw you in that clip with Russell. Uh, what was it like? Oh, it was a blast. I mean, during the series, I was on season seven. I was in like eight of the episodes, the longest running cameo ever. So, yeah, that's true. I, you know, I got to know everybody. There you go. My first run. Um, and so I got to know everybody and doing the movie was a trip. It, it's going to be a blast. Now, I have a question for you. You are probably, as far as I'm concerned, the most competitive owner in the history of American team sports. Nobody wants to win more than you. When you're on set with some of these actors, do you feel yourself pushing? yourself to be better than them on screen? Were you trying to show anybody well, up? Yeah. I was like, bring that camera over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then having Russell next to me, he's super competitive as well. And so he had just come off his Super Bowl season um, when we shot it last summer. And so it was like, okay, well, who's going to have a better team? Who's going to do a better job? Where's that camera pointing? We were killing each other the whole time. But he's such a great guy. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I heard that Warren Buffett also makes a cameo in this movie. Ah. I, I mean, I think that would be amazing to, to hear a conversation between you and Warren Buffett. Did you guys ever sit down and maybe you know talk what? money together? You know what? mentioned that. You know where I was yesterday? Where's that? I literally was in Omaha, Nebraska at a Dairy Queen eating a blizzard while Warren Buffett and I talked about business and he ate a chocolate sundae. You got to be kidding. Who paid? I got to I paid. I <laughs> you paid? I paid since I was the visitor. I felt like. Oh, wow. Oh, that's how the rich stay rich, man. You got to, for Warren Buffett, have Mark Cuban pay for your ice cream. Yeah, you know, but I'm starting to order lunch and I'm trying to be healthy and I get like chicken strips. He goes, you're going to be crazy over what I get. And he orders a chocolate sundae with extra chocolate with a smoothie <laughs> chaser. Hey, Mark, it's Harvey. Hey, Harvey. I got a little bone to pick. Um, can you explain to me in Sharknado 3 oh, how go. it is that you end up president of the United <laughs> States and I'm a dumbass reporter that gets eaten by a shark? You know, what can I say? I have to be the guy protecting the White House. I got skills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sliding down the halls. They got this great scene um, where we're coming out of the elevator and I got the whole shotgun scene going. It's great. <laughs> Mark, how much of this do you want to do, man? It seems like you're super comfortable in front of the camera. Like, how many movies do you see yourself doing in the future? Is this something that are you're you going to really... be in Expendables yeah, for? Yeah, are you going to be doing more of this stuff? <laughs> you know, everything I do in business, you know, I kind of have control, right? But in acting, you got to let everything go. And it's like completely different than the rest of my life. So I really like it because you just got to have a blank slate and just go with it and be there. So it's a real challenge. So anybody wants... I got an agent. I'm ready to go. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wow. my God. You're making the plunge. Love it. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not like I'm out there auditioning for stuff. But if someone wants me to come on, I'm ready to go. And when you see Entourage, you'll know exactly why. Yeah. And we're going to make a sequel to bring you back. They should do really well. So knock on wood, they'll have it too. And I'll be back. He just did Arnold Schwarzenegger's line at the end. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Seriously, man. Mark. Three. Watch Sharknado 3. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Mark, thanks so much for joining Thank us, man. You, Mark. We really appreciate it as always. It's time, guys. It's always fun. I appreciate it.